I'm Rebecca Newberry. I'm the Director of Collection Stewardship here at the Science Museum of Minnesota. This is Specimen Spotlight. Today we're going to talk about my favorite dinosaur, the Triceratops. So this is the first dinosaur the Science Museum ever excavated. We found it in the early 1960s, brought it back to the museum, and mounted it by 1965. This dinosaur is mounted in a method that was very popular in the 1960s. There's fossil parts, and then there's also cast and sculpted parts made of plaster to make it appear to be a whole specimen. In fact, this one big triceratops is actually six different animals. So it's six different triceratops put together to make it look like one big one. It's about 80% fossil, which is a really high number for a mounted dinosaur. And as was the custom at the time that this was mounted, the plaster parts were painted to look just like the fossil parts. So you can't tell from looking at it what part's fossil and what part's plaster. The reason we do that is so it looks like a complete animal and it's easier to understand and to educate with. This is the largest mounted Triceratops in the world. This Triceratops is mounted on a steel frame that was made here at the Science Museum of Minnesota by our paleontologists. There's either metal on the outside of the skeleton, you can see that on the backsides of the leg bones, or through the skeleton, which goes through all of the vertebrae, and it goes through the ribs, and it goes through the foot bones. The ribs are actually completely sculpted because dinosaur ribs are very, very fragile. And we actually have ribs from this excavation, which is really rare, but we didn't want to put them out on display because they were too fragile and we didn't have complete ones. Thank you, and we hope to see you at the Science Museum of Minnesota soon. <laughs>